back, everyone. We're talking Valentine's Day with Chef Bud. I don't celebrate. I don't like it, but I do like food always, I said. So, yeah. <laughs> so the bottom line of this story is I got up at like 4.30-ish <laughs> to come here for a non-romantic. I know. But I'm that sorry. will not stop us, my Mia More friends. Yes. So, okay, so I want to show you this. I took this, and we just stuck it in the oven to finish it off. And you can see how it kind of just cooks itself up. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, most pans you get these days can go in the oven. I always encourage you to put a towel on it when you bring it out. Because even yes. guys like me forget all the time. Be smart. Yes, okay. So now here's our sauce that's cooked down. And really what you want is you really want the mushrooms. And the and then the whatever is in the mushrooms will fall down on the on the filet or steak, whatever you're doing. So just pile them high. That's what you want to do. I do want to tell you... Um, uh, the and you can see the pepper in there. I see that you can yeah, see some little, red and black. The flakes. Yeah. Um, so this is a balsamic tomato salad. And what I did was I took a little bit of the Tuscan olive oil from emerald grape and olive, a little bit of balsamic. I don't like a lot of balsamic, so it worked out perfectly for me. Uh, just cherry tomatoes, some fresh basil. Toss it in, okay. the stick it in the fridge. Pull it out when you're ready to eat it. It's great with something like this. Plus, it adds a nice color break. And then these are mini, mini um, baked potatoes that I fried. This is a little one. And I'm not gonna. I don't take credit for this idea to fry them because. My friend Chad over at Embers does full potatoes this way. Oh. But when I was thinking about potatoes, I thought, you know, if you took the, the little ones and you uh, and fried them. And what I did is I blanched them. That's what was cooking here earlier. Mm -hmm. So if you weren't here at 550 with the rest of us, <laughs> you're welcome to go back on the video. But there was a pan sitting here. What I did was I blanched them first. Okay. And then I, put, then I pulled them off the water, put them in a little cold water for a minute. And then I slid them. So they'll pop open, and you can add a little bit of uh, sour cream or something like that to it. This is a great dish. This is a fun dish. It's got a lot of color to it. Um, it looks real nice, and uh, I'm quite pleased with how everything came out. Quite and it's nicely. nothing too complicated. And truly, when you look at the, the cost to make this, it's not terrible, and you're no. saving yourself money. No, and the big thing is, like I always tell people all the time, you want to spend money on, your, on the beef. Okay. So, I mean, cherry tomatoes and potatoes. And potatoes really that's in there, really you know, not much. And a few mushrooms, you know. And like I said... The big thing, I'm really, I wanted to, I just want to say, I'm really happy with how the Pepper Supreme worked in this. Um, this is one of those McCormick products that I just love. Mm -hmm. And too many times you try to find a way to use it just to season. And I love being able to put it in a sauce and really get all seven of those peppers out there and get yeah. all those flavors going. And like I said, it's not real hot, so it gives you just a nice flavor blend. But it's a good idea. Again, I was telling Angelina when we were on Facebook Live, um, I'm in the restaurant industry, so go out and eat. Yes. But... But if you don't go out on Thursday and you want to do this at home and then go on the weekend, that's fine. Yeah, cook this on yeah. Thursday, go out Saturday but night, there you go. Aside from all that, it's just fun to have. A lot of people are only cooking for two now. We are. Yep. You know, because my daughter's usually not home. So Michelle and I cook a lot for two. And so we're trying to find ways to, you know, make it. It's tough. Sometimes two is harder than six. It is. You know. So uh, enjoy this. And everybody have a happy Valentine's Day. And like yes. I said, if you're looking for something to do tonight, the class is fabulous. And uh 630 830, just go to actx.edu, look up back to the up. table. And I guess we'll do this again next week. Good little romantic date night idea. Da, 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 da. Bring your Mia More and I'll entertain you. <laughs> the floor show's well worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I love all the information for you guys over at myhighplains.com, including this recipe. Thank you so much, Bud, and thanks for waking yeah. up a little bit earlier to be here. A lot earlier. This <laughs> morning. We'll